When we first saw the dogs, uh, it was extremely hot, about 42 degrees Celsius, and the dogs were very inactive. But as the temperatures dropped, the entire pack got active, and we saw one of the members actually regurgitating some food for the youngsters in the group, uh, which caused quite a lot of noise. And there was about 17, maybe even more. And eventually they actually came out and onto the road, and really, really close to the vehicle, as you can see there. And then most of the pack was on the road, and you can see how they're scattered looking around. Some of the older members actually went to go hunting. And a few others remain behind, and you can see them grooming each other here, uh, just re-establishing the, the strong bonds that keep a pack of wild dogs like this going, and making sure that they're successful. And then the three pups emerged from the bushes as well, and started playing with each other and causing a little bit of havoc. And one or two of the older members of the pack who stayed behind to guard the pups had to keep them in line and make sure that they were behaving themselves, uh, but that wasn't happening. Got huge paws and really, really long legs, and they look quite funny when they move around, but extremely cute. And they were also quite curious of the vehicle, these pups. Look at those huge ears. Wild dogs have extremely good hearing. And we finished off the evening with the sunset at the dogs just before having to head back to camp. An incredible, incredible afternoon spent uh, with one of Africa's most endangered large predators. I'm feeling very, very lucky to be able to share this with you guys.